A record number of air quality alerts this summer is keeping Minnesotans in and out of summer plans. Meteorologist Joseph James explains how this wildfire smoke, the root cause to these problems, keeps coming around. Well, here we go again, another round of wildfire smoke, which is inevitably going to lower our air quality. But before it impacts us here on the surface, the problem starts up there in the wind. Wildfire smoke, once ejected out into the atmosphere, will either get tied to one or two mechanisms, the system of transport or dispersion. In our case, this smoke is being carried by transport winds horizontally across Canada and into the upper Midwest, traveling nearly 1,500 miles. The more voluminous space for the smoke to travel, the farther it could go. In the coming days, wildfire smoke will continue to be funneled through these winds aloft. It will disperse as it does, becoming less concentrated. But on the tail end of this smoky sky, the general mixing of the atmosphere should help clean up the air, essentially bringing in cooler and cleaner air that will fill in as the wind mixes the atmosphere, a process that may help come Sunday. Yeah, because all of this wildfire smoke is controlled by the wind, we have to monitor it heading into the weekend to see when this wildfire smoke will actually get out of here. In Minneapolis, Joseph Dames, WCCO News. Wildfire season does not have a hard finish line, so expectations for more wildfire smoke and air quality alerts remain a concern through the summer.